Respiratory syncytial virus season may have already begun. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warns, with early activity in the southeast. The United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a health advisory due to an increase in cases of respiratory syncytial virus, also known as respiratory syncytial virus, particularly in southeastern United States. This surge is traditionally an early indicator of the national respiratory virus season as increased respiratory syncytial virus activity tends to spread north and west over the upcoming two to three months. This virus is of particular concern as it causes significant hospitalization among children under four and has been a strain on children's hospitals nationwide. It also leads to 100 to 300 deaths annually in children under five and 6,000 to 10,000 deaths in those aged 65 and above. To combat this, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that all infants under eight months who are entering their first respiratory syncytial virus season receive one dose of nasivimab, the monoclonal antibody developed by AstraZeneca and Sanofi. It has been found to be safe, efficacious, and capable of providing protection for at least five months. Additionally, vaccines against respiratory syncytial virus are now available for people aged 60 and above manufactured by GlaxoSmithKline and Pfizer. However, the decision to vaccinate is recommended to be based on shared clinical decision-making between the healthcare provider and the patient. Thank you for staying till the end of this video, bringing you the latest update from the United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on the rise of respiratory syncytial virus cases. Your support helps us deliver more news like this. If you found this video useful, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay informed, stay safe,